What's poppin' everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Maisie Show. I'm your host with the most. Now, before we begin, please hit that subscribe and that like button. Let me know you're really rocking with this channel. So, bismillah. Alright, so. It's been a little while since I've been off the, uh, the everyday, uh, he say, she say news, right? This podcaster said this to this rapper, this person did that. But you know what? I, just, I had to tap back in for this one, right? Because I felt like it was some real, how I say, it was a real underplay, right? So... For those people that keep posting on this type of, uh, you know, whatever it might be, uh, as you know, C Mac went to the feds. He's sitting in the feds right now. <clears throat> there was a conversation with Adam Twenty Two and uh, Wack One Hundred about why, uh, you know, he didn't, uh, basically why he didn't, uh, why Adam didn't, you know, what I'm saying show up at the at the court, basically show face, represent. For his friend and you know be there to just give moral support and, and even just to show face so when they asked him about it he got oh well seriously what am I supposed to do dude like I got all my podcasts and interviews set up and lined up at a perfect time you know so you know so then they chastised him for a hot little 30 minutes whatever and then that was that well the big thing that was like kind of tangled up or I ain't gonna say ten. The big thing that I think was really in the scope by China Mac was that already, because and and this isn't why China Mac didn't they didn't see eye to eye. That's not why, right? In my personal opinion, I'm sure that it's because how Adam was serving C Mac when he come to No Jumper. Like everybody knows that works with this guy. Well, I ain't gonna say everybody know. Everybody says online. I don't know these people in person. This is just news, and I'm reporting the news, but. Everybody says online that um, Adam, he don't like to pay nobody. You know what I'm saying? So being that he don't like to pay nobody, uh, you know, like naturally, you know, China Mac probably felt some type of way about that. You know, that's his buddy. That's his homie. That's somebody that he feels he looks to as a friend who he looks out for, you know, whatever. He looks at him like his little brother or whatever. So... We already know Adam, he don't like to really look out for anybody that messes with his channel, right? Like, yeah, he might pay, like, some racks or some couple hundred dollars an episode for each one of his people. Which I'm sure some of the people that ride with him that didn't leave during the hiatus, like, sharpen him. I'm pretty sure he gets a little bit more now, right? <clears throat> but anyway, so China Mac basically was trolling him about it. Like, yeah, he wasn't looking out for his boy, blase, blase. It was a back and forth. <clears throat> so... Uh, Adam, he must have did some little underhand tactics trying to split them up, trying to say, hey, look, I don't know what he did in the background, but I just know that it happened this way. And the next thing you know, China Mac and C Mac, they part ways, right? So they parted ways, and then, then Adam tries to double back and say, oh, well, uh, he can't even hang for a couple months for his homie that's in the feds, blase, blase. No, nah, that's not why, bro. You did like some underhanded undercut type of activity in the background with C-Mac. You probably threatened C-Mac with some, oh, no jumper, man. You like, you like being a staple on the show, right? You know what I'm saying? He, you know, this is the thing, bro. Let, let's just address like what's obvious, right? Adam always says that China Max take his money. I'm not either of them and I don't know the finances. But common sense tells me, based on everything that everyone's saying, what what appears to be clear is that that's not the case. If anything, he puts him on. Uh, China Mac is a little bit, well, he's a lot more business savvy than C-Mac, right? I feel like maybe C-Mac is getting his bars up as far as that goes, but he's he's more, he knows a little bit more about the industry, right? <clears throat> then they have all this stuff to say about he was a blood, blah, blah. I, he probably, I think, believe he was. And all evidence points to yes, but that's not even what this is about. <clears throat> um, this is about C Mac looking out for, uh, 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 excuse me, uh, China Mac looking out for C Mac, and then, then he kind of like having to part ways with the situation, right? Um, 
yeah, I, I don't I don't feel like China Mac, you know, greased him in any way. I don't feel like he took advantage of him in any way whatsoever. Um, he was winning with him. You know what I'm saying? Adam, on the other hand, at, like Adam, he's not there for nobody. He's there for himself. You feel what I'm saying? In a tight spot, he doesn't care about you. He's just looking for the next piece of content. And then here's another thing, right? He puts out this video. Yeah, we need to start stop letting these outsiders in our culture. Our culture. He said our culture, right? Then he says it's not about black, white, Asian. It's about who's whatever the hell. He's just some not. He just was just rambling. First of all, you're right. It's not about that in most cases. Although sometimes it is. You feel what I'm saying? Someone being a different shade, maybe. I know when you're young, you have to be a, like show yourself. You have to prove yourself to be accepted. Sometimes when you're not of the typical skin color, I get that part. You know what I'm saying? I know that all too well. Now, on the other hand, you are really an outsider, though. Like you're 40 years old. This channel got popping five years ago. 35 years old, you came in the game. Before that, you were riding BMX bikes and throwing um, sodas at, at innocent black people. So, what what part and what part of the last five years do you feel like this is your culture? <clears throat> uh, you exploit black people. Uh, you cause problems between them in a major way, right? You do messy stuff. Um. Yeah, you you not a good person. You say who's not a piece of shit, but you're a piece of shit. Like you don't do anything good, right? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, man. I just he honestly he's a cold pimp. He's really a cold pimp. He just do he he ain't in the meat market with it. You feel me? He's like in this industry, and he just started kind of like getting his way in there, you know. So I feel like there's other people that do this. They maybe have their ways, but they're nowhere near as slimy as him. Like a bootleg Kev, he doesn't do all that. He doesn't start all these problems. I think one time he has said something slick, I think about milk or something like that. Oh, you know, random white dude or something like that. But other than that, like, yeah, I don't know. And then, um, what's the guy's name? I think it's point and shoot or something like that. Shout out to him. I'll be watching. He, he does all the impressions. He's hilarious. Check him out. Anyway, the dude from point and shoot, he did like a little thing talking about how bootleg Kev was in the background for sharp or sharp was a rapper. I, that dude's a cold investigator. Uh, check him out, man. Point and shoot. He got like a little crescent moon. It's a, on his thing. It's like a black circle and it got like a little yellow crescent moon. It, check him out. <clears throat> anyway, point being is that no one else is really like messing with you. Like, no one else is put it like this <clears throat> let's say for example hypothetically right that uh, Adam has a show with nobody but Adam right so similar to like a milk like how milk does reactions explain explanations what it, uh, that type of stuff who's really listening to that nobody if you can recall from back in the beginning when he started, well, for one, that was a BMX channel. That wasn't a, you know. And don't get me wrong. Like, I get it. You're boom. Like, that's cool. You feel me? You're getting your That's straight. You feel me? But let's not perpetrate here. Let's not say something other than what it is, right? Uh, he was doing his little BMX thing or whatever. Then he converted the channel to a hip-hop channel, underground, whatever. Then he was just only interviewing underground rappers. Why? Because he couldn't do it by himself. He couldn't just talk and, you know what I'm saying? He couldn't just talk shit and swallow spit and, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing that's coming off the muscle with him that's organic and that, you know what I mean? That like a lot of these other channels are doing, he's not capable of that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, China Mac, on the other hand, he, he, I'll be honest, he kind of got some good content, man. <clears throat> I mean, some of the stuff is kind of like dumb with some of the stuff with him and C-Mac, but for the most part, like, it was entertaining, you know what I'm saying? They're getting fights at the airport, and they're eating at different places. Like, the ones where, the food one, where he was, like, going to the different places, uh, I think he did that a couple, I think that's what the fight was with AD, but, uh, 
That was, I think I want to see like one or two, he did something like that. And then he went to like Hawaii. That was like whatever. You know what I'm saying? But the ones with C-Mac, some of them was kind of entertaining. Now, let's turn the tables. Could Adam do that by himself? Let's see. I don't know really so much with China Mac without C-Mac, but let's just say if Adam did anything, by, could Adam do this? Let's go go to It's Milk. Could Adam do that? Go to um uh, uh, any of these guys. Go to like all these different dudes, right? Could Adam do that? He's not being able to do that. So that I, he's you, you can't trust someone like that, bro. And he's never gonna let you know. He'll always make it seem different than it is. You know what I'm saying? He's the kind of dude. He'll be broke and he'll try to make it. He'll try his hardest to. Be, it's nothing, yeah, it's nothing. You know what I'm saying? And then he's over here trying to call um, T Real. I just, I don't know, man. I have a, I have a, I have a ill feeling about Adam. Like, I just, even let's just say, like, don't get me wrong, everything he's done, yeah. But even just him as a, like, I don't know, man. He just seems like, like the devil or something, bro. I don't know. I can't, I can't. Bless me love. I can't like totally put my finger on it, but yeah, he's not my type of dude for sure. Uh, so anyway, I say all that to say that you got to really use your brain and think, did China Mac really use C-Mac? Nah, he didn't. That's his boy. You feel me? He looked out for C-Mac. He made sure C-Mac was afloat. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he did a lot of things that promoted and endorsed C-Mac, where C-Mac was seeing the revenue off of that. They, they're like, yeah, they split the revenue, but they both getting bread. You get what I'm saying? On the other hand, you got Adam. Then he, there's no lock. There's no lock in. Like he come through, we'll get through him out. Whatever he was giving, he ain't giving him like nothing major. You get what I'm saying? He probably was making more off the little features and this, you know. Uh, yeah, man. Let's not be fake here. Let's not pretend like this is something that it ain't. C-Mac, from what I know and what's evident... Excuse me. China Mac, from what I know... They name sounds so similar. It's hard to not get him confused. But from what I know, he basically looked out. And from what the internet knows and the, the social media world, what's evident, I'm pretty sure 90% of the people feel the same way. Only him, because he's guilty of that, uh, Adam 16, would say something like that. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway... Let me know what you think about it in the comments, man. Let me know. Do you think uh do you think Adam's a little salty ass botch? Do you think that he's mad that you know I I feel like he just wanted full control over the situation and he want he can cut China Mac out. Number one, he likes to get back, but he's not a he's not a rider with the shit. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? He's not gonna just oh when I see you it's on we gonna squab. No, that's not his style. You know what I'm saying? He's not fighting. He's gonna call the police. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna call YouTube and report you. He's gonna do this type of stuff. So how else can somebody like that get back at you? <clears throat> they can do little feminine little tactics. You know what I'm saying? Little little estrogenic tactics where he can go behind. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, don't pretend like you have a problem with a man after you let a different man clap your wife. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and by the way. I don't know if you guys seen because it, it's been a while since I made this. Adam went on that podcast. You know, I already know me. I, I, I'm Adam is like my least favorite person on the internet, and I be messing with a lot of people. Even some of the people, like let's say I might have made my jokes and all that about C Max music, but I like C Max whole like you know what I'm saying I like some of his stuff. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, Adam he went on a podcast. Adam sixteen. This is what we're talking about, right? So he goes on a podcast, right? With the dude, he's, I forget his, I don't even know his name. He's like one of those red pill dudes. Uh, kind of like brown skin dude, uh, ball head. Yeah, you know, and it's, you know, you know, he uses all the big words and the professional microphone. You know, one of those dudes. Anyway, so then they get to talking and then uh, he's talking about how his wife's getting railed down. He's like, so uh, what did you think about um, your wife getting, you know what I'm saying, railed down by Jason Love? Which, this is old news, right? But he's just bringing it back, resurfacing it. He's like, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, this really matter. We made a tremendous amount of money on it. We've over made over a million dollars off of it, and uh, yeah, you know, it was a great, uh, it was a great, uh, blah blah blah. You know, Adam. And then so he was like, oh, okay, but um, you know, really like it was kind of a shot to the pride, right? And he was like, no, no, no. He was like, but but when you said it, when you first initially said it, you said you had to adjust to it. So why would you not have just got into it like how you do with your videos with other women? 
So obviously it was a tough pill to swallow for you. And anyway, he just kept catching them up on little stuff, and then he ended up getting mad at him. I'm gonna polish that milk, dude. They're like, shut your corny ass up. You ain't finna do a damn thing. You finna uh, polish the 911 call. That's what you gonna do. You gonna call 911 on somebody when they fire on you. You have no, you have no history of any uh, violence towards any man. Like I don't even know if a woman, but a man. Well, no, yeah, you do, cause you be raping minors. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, uh, far as a man, no, you know, uh, you got a slushy or ice, or some sort of drink or something thrown on you by, uh, what's the homie's name? Uh, what's my boy's name? Uh, house phone, hot home, house phone. They call him one, they call him house phone, but his, I think his name is home phone, but they call him house phone like as a joke or is it the other way around. Anyway, that guy. And that's supposed to be your boy since day one for the channel, right? You that you got no day ones. You have no day ones, Adam. Sixteen. The only day ones you have are your victims that are making claims against you. There's only day ones you have. Anyway, I could go on all day about Adam. I, I really don't care for this devil. But point being is that you could just use your common sense and your mind and think about what's really going on, and you can look at who pimped the situation. In my personal opinion i'm sure that china mac has the best uh intentions for crit mac and i hope Crit mac gets the best possible outcome in his situation and, and comes home and gives it a break you know anyway let me know what you guys think about the whole situation in the comments was adam wrong of course we know he was but do you think he was let me know salute y'all have a good day i'm gone